January 21st, 1968, a nuclear bomber crashes into the Arctic ice near Thule Air Base, Greenland, and a fireball lights up the frozen night. The world was moments away from disaster. This terrifying event is just one of many in the B-52 Stratofortress's long history. From Cold War close calls to extraordinary missions, these are the untold stories of a bomber that defied the odds. On May 21, 1956, the Red Wing Cherokee Test, part of Operation Red Wing, took place at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. The test involved the Boeing RB-52B Stratofortress aircraft named Barbara Grace, piloted by Major David Critchlow. The aircraft carried a TX-15X-12 stage thermonuclear bomb, marking the first time a U.S. thermonuclear bomb was dropped from an aircraft. The bomb, weighing over 6,800 pounds, was dropped over Namu Island. But due to a misidentification of a target, it exploded off course, missing the island by about four miles. Despite the misfire, the explosion produced a large yield, though much of the test data was lost. This was the only test in the Red Wing series not focused on weapons development, but rather on demonstrating the U.S. capability to air-deliver multi-megaton nuclear weapons. The Barbara Grace aircraft had been named after Major Critchlow's wife and mother, and was involved in several subsequent nuclear tests before being retired in 1963. It was later restored and is now displayed at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. In 1957, the world witnessed an extraordinary feat of aviation, a mission that would push the limits of technology and endurance, Operation Power Flight, the first non-stop flight around the globe by a jet aircraft, was set in motion by a fleet of B-52 Stratofortresses. The mission would test both the aircraft's capabilities and the resilience of its crew. With the world below, the B-52s took off into the sky, their engines roaring as they embarked on a journey that would span more than 24,000 miles. These giants of the skies designed for strategic bombing were now poised to demonstrate an entirely new power the ability to circle the Earth without landing. Mid-air refueling would be their lifeline, a crucial lifeline as they soared across oceans, continents, and time zones. For 45 hours and 19 minutes, these bombers remained aloft, breaking records and boundaries. The mission was a display of human determination and technological innovation, showcasing the B-52's global reach and resilience in the face of the unimaginable. As the B-52s touched down, they had accomplished what many thought impossible. Operation Power Flight was not just a triumph of aviation. It was a bold declaration of the potential for military aircraft to transcend the boundaries of geography and time. June 18, 1965, a pivotal moment in the history of the B-52 Stratofortress as these mighty bombers embarked on their first ever combat mission in Operation Arc Light. The target was clear, Viet Cong supply lines that were crucial to sustaining their operations in the dense jungles of Vietnam. But the B-52s were untested in this kind of warfare, and the crews knew they were stepping into the unknown. As the bombers approached their targets, the anxiety among the crews was palpable. Below, the thick jungle canopy hid the deadly threats that lay in wait countless anti-aircraft guns poised to unleash destruction. The silence of the flight was broken by the sounds of explosions as tracer fire and flak erupted around the formation, shaking the B-52s with each near miss. Yet the bombers held their course unwavering in the face of the enemy's resistance. The crews focused, their nerves steeled as the moment of impact neared. Then, with a thunderous roar, the B-52s released their payloads. The earth trembled as bombs rained down, obliterating the enemy positions and sending shockwaves through the jungle. The mission was a resounding success, marking the beginning of the B-52's legendary combat history. What had started as an uncertain venture into the unknown would evolve into a defining chapter in the aircraft's long legacy a testament to its adaptability and the bravery of the crews who flew it.
1966, the Spanish Palomares Incident. January 1966. In the midst of the Cold War, an incident occurred that would forever change the understanding of nuclear risk. Near Palomares, Spain, a routine mid-air refueling mission involving a B-52 Stratofortress and a tanker turned into a catastrophic event. The B-52 collided with the tanker, and in an instant, four hydrogen bombs fell from the sky, landing in the rugged terrain below. The world held its breath as the bombs plummeted, their destructive potential far greater than the accident that had caused their fall. Three of the bombs were recovered from the land, but the fourth, which had landed in the Mediterranean Sea, remained elusive. A three-month underwater search followed, a desperate hunt to retrieve the missing weapon and prevent a potential disaster. Eventually, the lost bomb was found deep beneath the surface, a grim reminder of the catastrophic consequences that could arise from the very weapons designed to deter war. The Palomares incident was more than an accident. It was a stark warning about the perils of the nuclear arms race and the risks of Cold War era military strategy. In the years that followed, the incident underscored the vulnerabilities inherent in the pursuit of nuclear deterrence, serving as a chilling reminder of the delicate balance between power and disaster. Vietnam, 1968. B-52D Diamond Lil, one of the most storied bombers in the U.S. Air Force, prepares for another perilous bombing run over the dense, treacherous jungles of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The mission is critical. Precise strikes needed to disrupt the flow of enemy supplies. But the skies above the trail are filled with danger. Anti-aircraft fire from below rakes the sky as explosions and shrapnel tear through the air, each blast closer than the last. Then, without warning, the aircraft shakes violently one of Diamond Lil's engines is hit. The crew struggles to regain control as another burst of flak slashes through the fuselage, tearing into the bomber's body. Smoke begins to fill the cabin, alarms blare in a cacophony of chaos. Yet amidst the chaos, Diamond Lil presses on, its mission far from over. With incredible precision, despite the damage, the bomber releases its payload over the target. The ground below is rocked by the impact, but Diamond Lil is now in serious trouble. Limping back to base, the crew faces the grim reality. They must prepare for a crash landing. The strain on the aircraft is palpable, but the pilot, a veteran of countless missions, fights to maintain control of the battered bomber. Against all odds, and with nerves of steel, the pilot guides Diamond Lil safely to the ground. A hard landing, but a successful one. The bomber, Though Scarred had survived, and so had its crew, Diamond Lil's story became a symbol of resilience, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the courage to carry on can make all the difference. December 1972. As the Vietnam War entered its final brutal stages, the U.S. launched one of the most controversial and intense bombing campaigns of the conflict, Operation Linebacker II. In a bold move to force North Vietnam to the negotiating table, B-52 Stratofortresses were tasked with bombing heavily defended targets in the heart of North Vietnam, Hanoi and Haiphong. The mission was perilous. Hanoi's air defenses were at their peak, with surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft artillery aimed directly at the B-52s as they flew into the danger zone. But the Stratofortresses, massive and formidable, pressed on. The crews knew the stakes. They were not just conducting a bombing raid, they were shaping the future of the war. The B-52s delivered their payloads with deadly accuracy, striking industrial and military targets meant to cripple North Vietnam's ability to sustain the war effort. Despite the fierce resistance, the bombers pressed the attack. The cost was high. 15 B-52s were lost in the campaign, a devastating toll, but the strikes were effective. As the world watched, the relentless B-52 bombings eventually forced North Vietnam's leadership to reconsider. The devastation in Hanoi and Haiphong brought them back to the negotiating table, marking a turning point in the war. The Christmas bombing campaign, though costly, proved that the B-52 was more than a tool of destruction. It was a decisive weapon that changed the course of history. 
1991, in the opening days of the Gulf War as the world held its breath, a covert operation was set into motion, one that would demonstrate the B-52 Stratofortress's unmatched reach and precision. Operation Secret Squirrel was a mission unlike any before it, one that would see these mighty bombers launch a strike from halfway around the globe. Taking off from Louisiana, the B-52s embarked on a 14,000-mile journey across the skies. Their destination, key Iraqi targets that needed to be neutralized in the early stages of the conflict. The bombers were armed with AGM-86C cruise missiles, precision-guided weapons capable of hitting targets with pinpoint accuracy, no matter the distance. As the B-52s soared across continents, the tension was palpable. Their long-range mission would test the limits of endurance and precision, but the bombers never wavered. They crossed oceans, dodged enemy radar, and when they finally arrived over Iraq, the moment of truth arrived. The missiles were launched, streaking toward their targets with deadly accuracy, marking the first of many strikes in the Gulf War. Operation Secret Squirrel, proved that the B-52 was not just a strategic bomber. It was a force capable of striking anywhere on the planet. This mission demonstrated the power of modern warfare and the long reach of America's air power. June 24, 1994. A day that began like any other at Fairchild Air Force Base, where a B-52 Stratofortress, known as Tsar-52, was preparing for an air show. The crowd gathered in anticipation, unaware that the performance ahead would be anything but routine. During a rehearsal, the pilot attempted an aggressive low-level maneuver, disregarding established safety protocols in a bid to showcase the bomber's capabilities. But as the B-52 plunged into the risky maneuver, something went horribly wrong. The massive bomber, designed to carry the weight of nuclear weapons and endure the rigors of strategic bombing, suddenly began to struggle fighting to recover from the disastrous turn. Onlookers watched in horror as Tsar-52 spiraled downward, its engine sputtering and its fate sealed in the terrifying descent. The crash was catastrophic, a sobering reminder of the limits of even the most powerful machines. The wreckage of Tsar-52 marked not just the loss of an aircraft, but a tragic consequence of human error in the face of a high-stakes performance. Despite the crew's best efforts to regain control, the bomber could not escape its fate. Yet, in the aftermath of the disaster, Tsar 52's story became a poignant lesson for all who flew and maintained these le legendary aircraft. It was a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human ambition and the unforgiving nature of aviation. The tragedy would go on to influence safety protocols for years to come ensuring that the lessons of that day were never forgotten. As the 2020s dawned, the B-52 Stratofortress, a symbol of Cold War era power, continued to evolve and push the boundaries of aviation. In a series of groundbreaking missions, the B-52 became a testbed for hypersonic weapons, a cutting edge technology that would redefine modern warfare. These weapons, capable of traveling at speeds greater than Mach 5, would test the limits of both the aircraft and the future of combat. The B-52's role in these tests was a continuation of its legacy. A bomber that had once been designed to carry nuclear payloads now poised to carry the most advanced, high-speed missiles in the world. Each mission was an intricate dance of precision and technology as the bomber launched hypersonic missiles, pushing the boundaries of aerospace engineering. With each successful test, the B-52 reaffirmed its place at the forefront of military aviation, remaining not only relevant but essential in an age of rapid technological advancement. The aircraft, once synonymous with strategic bombing, had now become an integral part of hypersonic weapons development ensuring that it continued to play a vital role in shaping the future of warfare. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic. Do not forget to hit that subscription button to help us grow. Bye-bye.